How many times have you tried to adjust an antenna coupler for Loris VSWR but not liked having to look at the meter while you made your adjustments? Many times, I bet. That's where having an audible indication can be handy. There are a few designs on the web, but they use a few more parts than I would have liked. And what if you already have an SWR meter or homebrew resistive bridge? Wouldn't it be good if you could put a sound indication on that without having to modify the unit? In this video, I'll tell you how you can. I modified a homebrew resistive antenna bridge, so it gives you a sound indication as well as the meter movement. So how do you make your resistive bridge audible? As you might have seen in a previous video, the first thing I did was just to connect a piezo transducer to it. When you spoke on SSB, you were able to adjust it so that when the meter needle was reading zero, that is, when you were tuned up, there was no sound from the transducer. The main problem with that arrangement is you had to be on SSB, CW wasn't so good, and the volume from the transducer was quite low, so you had to pretty much hold it up to your ear. Assuming you're willing to use a battery, there are some alternatives. The first thing I looked at was this mini notebook on the 555 timer by Forrest Mims, sold by Radio Shack, or Tandy as they were known in Australia. Page 15 has a circuit for a voltage controlled oscillator. You varied the voltage on pin 5 and the tone output from the speaker changed in pitch. That worked but wasn't quite what I needed. The lower the input voltage, the higher the tone frequency. I didn't like that. The idea of the tone going low or almost disappearing is just intuitively better. At least in my mind if you're trying to adjust something for a null. You could have done things like inverters, op amps, etc. And if you do a search on the web, there are some alternative circuits. But I wanted to keep it as simple as possible. Luckily I had a copy of Radio Projects for the Amateur, Volume 3, by Drew Diamond VK3XU. One of the projects is a toner tune, an audible SWR bridge. Since I already had the resistive bridge, I didn't need the power detecting head of the SWR indicator. But the audio circuitry could be useful. The good thing about it is it's no more complicated than the design in the Forest Mims book. And when you adjust it to a null, low voltage means that the oscillator goes very low in frequency and then cuts out. Just what we want. An important thing about the circuit is that the ground on the VSWR meter is not the same connection as the ground on the 555 audio circuit. That doesn't matter because you've got the 9 volt battery and that portion is floating. It's ugly but it works. Here's what I built. We'll test it in a moment. This is the resistive antenna bridge. No modifications are made to it except for two wires in parallel with the meter movement. These wires go to these clip leads which go to the external 555 VCO. You have the potentiometer which could be a trim pot set just before the point of oscillation. Here I'm rotating from negative, increasing the voltage until, if we keep going, it starts to oscillate. We go back. At this point it's calibrated. This is with no RF applied and the meter on the resistive bridge reading nothing. I've set the rig to FM, though you could use it on CW as well. And we'll just apply carrier. Here you can see I'm not quite tuned up, as there is indication on the resistive bridge. When I've adjusted the antenna coupler properly, the meter should be indicating nothing.
we've got the coil setting right and adjusting the variable capacitors and as you can hear there is a null now we'll try another band and we'll have to try and tune for a null we'll try this setting you'll have to trust me on this but I've kept my eyes closed I'm on 20 meters whereas last time I was on 40 and I'm transmitting and there's nothing coming out of our VCO the meter needle should be reading nothing I'll open my eyes and sure enough it is reading nothing tune the antenna coupler off to one side the needle shoots up I was doing that last test with 500 milliwatts we'll go up to 5 watts and the capacitor tuning is sharper If you want to build it, here's the circuit. It's so simple you can draw it on the back of an envelope. The negative connection of the meter goes to the wiper of the potentiometer and the positive connection of the meter goes to the 555 via the 47k resistor. This has been a simple circuit, only a few dollars of parts and you've got an audible indication of when your antenna coupler is tuned up. Very simple to build and I highly recommend it. Have you checked out The Daily Antenna? It's a blog with one post per day on antennas and related topics. Visit dailyantenna.blogspot.com There's space for comments below and if you like what you see you can subscribe by email. That's dailyantenna.blogspot.com